Hello everyone, I'm Baker Tech, also known as Keegan, and welcome back to Mount and Blade Warband. We left off the last episode right right after a battle and about to start another one. Uh and we've we've gone down to eleven guys in our army. Well it's not quite an army yet, it's sort of sort of a mob. Um eleven guys, but they are all upgraded. I'm not sure how many forest bandits are here, but we're gonna fight them and hope. That our nine troops, oh, of course, some are wounded. Ah, the wounded troops cannot fight. So our nine troops should be enough for their five. I might even take these guys out all by myself. Some of these guys have some crossbows. So let's go ahead and put them all up uh, on the hill here. Uh, archers do a lot better on the hill. I'll just keep moving slowly so that I can't be hit. Get everyone to spread out up on that hill. And uh, in fact, I might I might come up and join them on this hill and start firing some things off as well. Uh, let's, let's get even higher up this hill. Get up to here. Come on, guys. Move it. Move it along. See if I can... Oh. There's quite a lot of drop. I've never been very good at uh, firing anything in this game. So let's go ahead and get right into the thick of it. Flash these guys up. Killed one. Let's see if. Oh. Seven damage. Oh. When you get into the later game, you start. You start doing, you know, like. 50 damage a swing. It's absolutely nuts. But you can see that the angle of my attack does change. So as I sort of move the mouse around, it changes what way I'm going to attack. So now I'm stabbing. Now I'm swinging. Uh, it does all uh, depend on where the mouse is. And you have to time it and work the best angle to kill the guys. Because if you, if you swing like this and they're on the left hand side, you ain't gonna hit them. Uh, I think that's pretty simple. Now, here's the last guy. I was trying to work out where he was. So because my sword was on the left-hand side, I had to make sure that the opponent was on the left-hand side. So I hope you understand how that mechanic works. Let's go ahead and finish here. Five kills, no casualties to us. This has 21 body armor and 7 leg armor. There's 21 body armor and 4 leg armor. So let's go ahead and swap that out. So I've got a ragged, ragged outfit. Uh, fantastic. 14 to leg armor. So we'll go ahead and swap those out as well. And just grab the rest of this. So we now have filled up this. We have a little bit of food left. 48, 47, that's fine. And a bunch of money. I've advanced to level 3. There are seven of these guys, so let's go ahead and up my agility. And as I promised, we're going to put a point into looting and up our one handed weapons. That's done. Um, we have eight, eight available to fight, seven bandits here. Let, let's take them on. Your luck has run out, wretch. Prepare to die. They're not afraid of me. Well, they should be. We have nine guys against the eight. Of course, I forgot to include myself in the number. Aha. So again, we'll just tell everyone to spread out a little bit and hold this hill. Uh, and to start with, I'll hold the hill with them until I can... I mean, I'm not going to land any shots. Let's be honest. But it feels good to stand with your men. You know, a command, I should really be going up and down this line, giving them encouraging words you know uh if, if i remember the speech from lord of the rings that aragon says on uh, outside the the gates of mordor that was a good speech you know today is today is not that day to die basically is the gist of it uh we're gonna win we're not gonna die great speech maybe maybe i need to work on it hey that one almost hit me let's see if i can Okay, I'm not hitting anything. They're starting to charge, which means it's time for me to charge as well. 
my sword swing going on and way now one of the problems oh is that especially on horseback if you try and ride uphill you actually slow down your horse can't go uphill as well as it can go downhill so it kind of pays to make sure that they're not standing up a hill um let's get everyone to stand closer and charge these guys have been cut down a little bit managed to do a little bit of damage to them oh come on oh that one hurt yes come on and of course the more guys that the uh, your own teammates kill the more experience they get means the faster they're going to level up completely muck that up there we go sometimes I get the angle that you know that I mean need to attack on slightly wrong you can see I blocked that one there we go battle one so yeah you can block um, I just haven't been doing it much tab to leave seven kills fantastic and we can hire a peasant woman or we can let her go to be honest I don't really want the peasant woman um, so we're just gonna let that go 23 and 9 21 and 7 go ahead and swap that out unfortunately I'm all full up 273 is the cost here so let's go ahead and put some of this stuff back in and grab some of the more wealthy items wealthy more expensive I don't know what word I'm looking for now two guys are ready to be upgraded I can either do a footman or a skirmisher and to be honest I cannot remember which go to knight I think footmen become knights I think skirmishers become archers let's get one of each and find out yeah so skirmishers will become your crossbowman footman will become a man at arms which then becomes a knight so for swadians footman is the way to go so let's move our most upgraded troops to the top uh the order of this is the order in which people get deployed so let's go ahead and move them to the top and recruit a couple people no one here wants to join which is a little bit of a shame but basically this is how the game starts off you start off quite low level uh you basically just ride around as many towns as you can and just recruit uh as many people as you can i've obviously already been here let's go all the way over to yaragar and try and find some people there but yeah you just try and get as many people to join up as possible once you have a sizable force you can start taking on more sizable forces and this is our first payment weekly budget so we're not earning any money at the moment you can actually get property and stuff that actually brings in money um but at the moment i have nothing like that so we had 335 dollars we lost 54 for payment down to 281 so i'm just gonna have to keep fighting people to get money at this point which personally i have no problem and here is count meltor so you'll occasionally see obviously bandits and stuff running around but you'll also see these guys and these are lords this guy is in swadia and he asks if he knows me my name is Bega Takarian. at your service sir i'm count meltor a vassal of kingdom of swadia and the lord of yaragar and chides speak quickly if you have anything to say for i have no time to be bandying words with common soldiers of fortune he basically doesn't like me but i can try and get quests from him uh and he does in fact have something for me uh i have something you could help with an issue with the lawless villain known as jesus uh well no he's not known as jesus he's known as rark rark uh he murdered one of my men and has been out on the run from this judgment ever since I can't let him get away with avoiding justice, so I've put a bounty of 300 dinars on his head. Friends of the murdered man reckon that this assassin may have taken refuge with his kinsman at Nomar. 
You might be able to hunt him down and give him what he deserves and claim the bounty for yourself. For yourself, you see what I'm saying? Then I'll hunt him down and execute the law. So he likes me a little bit now. Uh, my relation has gone from negative three to negative two. Uh, and we can get 300 dinars from it as well. So let's go to Yadagar. Try and recruit some people. Two people want to join. And then I have to... Was it Nomar? That he lives in? Yeah, Nomar. Sweet. Just here. Sometimes you have to go like all the way down to freaking Iqbal um, when you're up in Buelin, which is, you know, a 20 minute bloody trip. Like real time 20 minutes. So the fact that it's right here is fantastic. Can't complain at all. Uh, so let's make it over to Noma. If, uh, if that case happens where I get a massive trip like that, I'll probably cut it um, from here. Let's try and recruit some volunteers. Uh, I've been attacked by a group of bandits. Fantastic. So this happens every now and then when you when you enter a town. So uh, they'll they'll try and kill you. Someone's paid paid the money to try and kill you. You can see, this is how ground combat works. I'm actually timing the block, right, so that, um, hey, there we go. Uh, timing the block so that they're going to the right side. If they swing, if you block too early, they'll swing to a different side. I'll try and demonstrate it. So, he swings, I block over here. He swings, I block over here. Now, I don't have to pick where I block, I just have to get the timing right. So now if he swings this way, that's when I block. And block. And then you attack. And it kills him. Which is great. The bandits fall before you as wheat to a scythe. Soon you stand alone in the streets while most of your attackers lie unconscious. Or dead. Uh, oh, dead or dying. I didn't read that line. Searching the bodies you find a purse which must have belonged to a previous victim of these brutes. Or perhaps... It was given to them by someone who wanted to arrange a suitable ending to your life. Basically, you get a little bit of cash, um, which is fantastic. So we're now going to go to the village center. Uh, and in here, we will find the guy that we have to kill. Now, I always like to recruit early uh, before you go and try and find someone to kill. Because these guys tend not to like it. So we'll ask the village elder. Rarrrrk, Darite is here. Uh, he doesn't seem to know, unfortunately. Yeah, I already, I already picked that one. I can't remember why I did it again. But they're normally hiding behind a house somewhere. So all we have to do is circle behind every single building. He's probably up on the top one there. Confront him, and we'll have a little fight on our hands. This always happens. This, this, this quest is sort of the second one you ever get. You have the one that the merchant gives you, which we skipped. And then you have this one. I'm not sure where he is. Maybe I'll have to wait till daytime. So let's leave here for now. Uh, and go ahead and camp. Wait here for some time. And then basically we set up a little tent. Uh, as people come and go. Uh, wait for daytime. And now, hopefully, he'll be around here. You will notice a few more people walking around. A bunch of villagers and the like. So that does bode well. Finding Alright. That's what we're going to call him from now on. Uh, hey, hey, hey. You look a bit shady, mate. Let's get down off my horse and talk to him man to man. A bit nervous. Uh, what, what do you want? I am looking for the murderer by the name of Starride. You fit his description. I don't understand, sir. I never killed anyone. I think you've got the wrong man. Then drop your sword. If you're innocent, you have nothing to fear. We'll go now and talk to your neighbors, and if they verify your story, I'll go on my way. I'm not going anywhere, friend. You are going to have to fight for your silver today. No problem. I really just need your head anyway. Yeah. Uh, that's... Hey. Now we... Come on. Oh. 
You bastard. Right here, come on. Oh, oh. This guy better not kill me. I've never been killed on this quest before. There we go. Advance to level four. See, as you can say, see in the bottom left, your relation with Noma has deteriorated. Um, so, unfortunately, they are less likely to give me a recruit now. That's why you... Oh, horse received one damage. That's why you always make sure to recruit beforehand. Because they're now negative two towards you. So let's go ahead and leave here. Uh, pull up our quest notes. And let's go find Count Meltor. The last time you saw him was in the field and he was close to Yadagar. Uh, so hopefully, if I was to head back to sort of Viencord Castle, which is where he rules, I believe, we should hopefully come across him. Hopefully. If not, we'll have to go hunting. We might go to Uxtal and ask around about the guy. But for now, go here, request a meeting with someone, Count Reyes. That's not who I'm after. Um, so let's have a chat with him. Uh, and I wish to ask him something. I want to know the location of someone. And I'm after Count Meltor. Fielding should be close to Chide at the moment. Must take my lead. That's right, he doesn't own Viencord. He owns Yedagar and Chide. So let's ride on over to Chide and find him. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a bit of back and forth uh, in this game. You sort of ride from one side to the other. You're chasing guys down. It becomes a lot easier once you have a large force of people uh, and all you're doing is raiding. Uh, or, you know, you're in a, in the middle of a war and you can go and siege castles and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, this way, hey, this is probably him. This beginning section, a little bit slow. Um, that's okay. So he now likes me. It's only negative one, which is basically neutral. Um, see if he has any other tasks. Okay, okay. You probably know that I'm the lord of the village of Chide. However, it has been months since Chide has delivered the taxes and rents due me as its rightful lord. Apparently, the populace there has grown unruly lately, and I need someone to go there and remind them of their obligations and to persuade them if they won't listen. If you go there and raise the taxes they owe me, I will grant you one-fifth of everything you collect. Fantastic. We are exactly neutral now, which is zero. So basically, we're going to go and be the IRD, uh, the tax people, and go and collect some money. Which isn't the most entertaining thing in the world, but, you know, it certainly gets us some cash. And it gets us heading out into the other areas. I think I might... I'll go chide, recruit some people, take their taxes, go find them, and then start heading up into Nord territory. Seven guys, that's fantastic, because they're about to hate me. Start collecting. Now, basically, this is just a waiting game. Ignore them and continue. They're getting a little bit rowdy and grumpy. That tends to happen. We might have to fight them a bit later, but that's okay. So I, I just want to take this time to sort of discuss the plan. You can join one of these kingdoms and become a vassal and start fighting for them. You have to fight in their wars. But it does also mean that all in, any and all of their enemies will try and fight you. And it becomes quite difficult. Um, we've collected 3,075 dinars, so let's go and find Count Meltor. Um, but yeah, it becomes quite difficult if you do that. And that's normally the path I go down. I become a vassal as early as possible. So I was thinking... That perhaps, I'm just taking a look around for Count Meltor, that perhaps this time, this run through, is that you? Nope. But you might know. How far are you? 
5.1. We'll catch the guy. Come on. Uh, maybe this time through I'll maybe become a bit of an outlaw uh, and just raid who I want to raid, not not care about anything. Uh, about, you know, becoming a vassal or anything. Um, maybe. We'll see. I wish to ask you something. I want to know the location of someone. Count Meltor. Heaven to Uxtal, close to Jimkor Castle. Okay. Let's head down to Uxtal. I was heading the right way and then got distracted. Bit of a shame. That's okay. We'll make it in the end. Uh, but yeah, I think not becoming a vassal and instead becoming a a bit of an outlaw, a bit of a rebel, um, and just fighting whoever I want to fight. Whoever looks small and easy to pick on, but is going to make me the most money, I think that's going to be my plan. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I do need to create a bit of a sizable force before I can do that. Um, like, at the moment, I can only pick on these looters, because all I have are a bunch of low-level nothings. You're not who I want. Let's go to the castle. Let's see if the count is here. It doesn't look like it. It looks like just one of the ladies is here. Uh, but she might know the location of Count Meltor. Vincord Castle. Oops, wrong one. Tab. Leave. So let's head down to Viencord and hope that he's down here. Because as soon as we find him, we'll wrap up this episode. Uh, not much exciting has happened in this one, but you know, sometimes that's gonna happen. That's, it's, it's, you know, not every episode can be packed with exciting, massive battles, especially when your party is 22 low levels. Oh, I have an upgrade. <laughs> just whew, popped in there. Uh, let's go ahead and get um, more looting uh, and some more one-handed proficiency. And sure, why not? A little bit of that. Hopefully, we can we can find the guy. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. You know what happens? I find them, I get the money, all that kind of stuff. But guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, hit that like button and also don't forget to hit subscribe if you can't wait for me to become a crazy, crazy rebel. And I'll see you in the next one.